Former Malaysian Prime Minister Najib Razak wants to take action against former Attorney General Tommy Thomas and Sarawak Report editor Perry Kusselbrown over their statements in the documentary Men on the Run. The former Pekan MP is also seeking to remove the 98-minute show currently airing on Netflix for its subjudicial and contemptuous content. His lead counsel, Tan Sri Muhammad Shafi Abdullah, made the complaint about the show at the High Court before the One Malaysia Development Berhad, One MDB trial could resume on January 8. Mr. Muhammad Shafi said he was instructed by his client to file contempt proceedings against Tan Sri Thomas and to take legal action against Ms. Rika Brown over their statements in the documentary. The Malaysian Communications and Multimedia Commission MCMC and the Home Ministry have the authority to take it off the air, the lawyer said. The show, which first screened in cinemas in Singapore and was released on Netflix on January 5, Features interviews with politicians and personalities like Mr. Thomas and Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim. It also features interviews with former Domansara MP Tony Pua and whistleblower Xavier Andre Jasto, among others. Najib was also interviewed for the documentary prior to his incarceration. At a press conference, Mr. Muhammad Shafi noted that what Najib said in the program was 100% true. I observed the interview and what he said was justified, the lawyer said. Mr. Muhammad Shafi said he informed the court about the documentary so that the prosecution could bring the matter to the Attorney General. That the Attorney General's chambers can bring this to the MCMC, he said. Asked if Najib had seen the documentary, Mr. Muhammad Shafi said, he is in prison. How could he watch it? He doesn't have that privilege. The lawyer was also asked about Detek Seri Anwar's statements in the documentary, which Mr. Muhammad Shafi described as unpleasant. There were statements that were unpleasant because there is no proof and the case is still ongoing. He said. The trial also saw a heated exchange of words between the prosecution and the defence over a statement by the 49th prosecution witness, Ms. Naida Orifin, who resumed her testimony by reading her 95-page witness statement. Her testimony, however, was halted when Mr. Muhammad Shafi stood up to object several times. He argued that Ms. Naida, a Malaysian Anti-Corruption Commission senior officer, had drawn her own conclusions in the case. Deputy Public Prosecutor Ahmad Okram Garib responded that Ms. Naida's testimony was merely based on the findings of her investigation as she was the investigating officer in the 1MDB probe. Mr. Muhammad Shafi, however, still got on his feet to object numerous times. High Court Judge Colin Lawrence Sequeira interjected and said the proceedings could not continue in such a manner. Either we continue on this path, which will take forever, or I adjourn the trial, and both parties come up with a statement they can live with. We cannot go on like this, he said. The proceedings were then adjourned for parties to meet the judge in chambers. Najib, 70, is on trial for 25 charges for for abuse of power that allegedly brought him financial benefit to the tune of RM2. 28 billion 651.7 million Singapore dollars and 21 for money laundering involving the same amount of money.